What it is, my Tino Peace and Grease here, and today we're talking about fishing on the plains of Eidolon. And boy, oh boy, are there a ton of factors to consider when you're looking for that specific fish on the plains of Eidolon. So you've got some fish that only spawn at day, you have some that only spawn at night, some that spawn day and night, some that you have a couple that only spawn dusk and dawn. You, then location becomes a factor. Some only spawn in ponds, some only spawn in lakes, and still others only spawn in oceans. To compound all of this confusion, you have a selection of fishing spears. You have the param, you have the tulock, you have the lanzo. If, where do you go to get the fish that you're wanting for that particular resource? Well, I'm hoping to get you squared away here. So first, let's get through the basic rudimentary information first here. Now, I have selected three basic locations that I personally use to fish for all of these fish. And I've chosen them based on proximity to Cetus as well as ease of use. I don't want to have to deal with a bunch of enemies. I don't want to have to jump through hoops. I want to get in, get out, get done. So that's why I use these three locations. So there are 13 fish total. And I'm going to be showing you where I fish. Now, in this video, let's, get, let's cover some of the basic rudimentary information first. Which is that if you're looking for the resources of fish meat, fish oil, or fish scales, uh, basically any fish that you catch and take to fish or high luck and you select the cut bait option, you're probably going to get those resources. So no worries there. Uh, if you're looking for those, that's what you go with. If, now I am going to be recommending the bait in this video. Uh, I don't use peppered bait, nor do I use for aroma. I experimented with them uh, when the Plains of Eidolon dropped, but I didn't see any point to them and I still don't see any point to them. Now, because I am recommending bait, I, I also have to recommend you get your standing to max. And the reason for this is because there are baits locked behind that standing. All right. So however you choose to get your standing to max, I, that, I do have to recommend that. Now, the reason I'm recommending bait is because while I would love to tell you guys that there's one end-all be-all location where you can get all of these fish anytime, day or night without bait, it's just simply not the case. So that's the deal there. Now, as far as boosters go, got to recommend them. I know I've recommended them in other videos, but I got to recommend them here as well, it's particularly for those fish that, small, that spawn in very small numbers, even with bait. Uh, having those boosters is going to double those fish that you catch. So, yeah, they're well worth having. So, with all those things said, how can you tell the time of day? Let's get through the basic, last and basic information first. So, if you're on your orbiter and you want to know the time of day, simply select the, the planet Earth on your star chart, hover over the planes of Eidolon, and it will tell you the time of day. Now, if you happen to be on the planes of Eidolon and you're wanting to know the time of day there, just look the brick around. Uh, <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, when you open your map, will be a half-circular dial indicator gauge that will tell you what time of day it is and how long you're going to have to wait till the next cycle. All right. So the first location that we are at currently is Twin Horns. Now, Twin Horns used to be called Geyser by the community and is still called Geyser by many. But the official name for it is Twin Horns. And literally straight out of the Cetus Gate, just slightly to your left, is Twin Horns. Upon getting here, you will have to deal with uh, a small contingent of enemies. But once you do, pretty much the pawns are that yours from that point forward as, as much as you would like. Now, in this location during the day, you can acquire Cut Cut, which gives you Cut Cut Venom Sacks, as well as Yagwan, which gives you Yagwan Stomachs. Now, you do not need bait for these two fish. And in the evenings, you can catch Mortis Lungfish here, which gives you the Mortis Horn. Again, you don't need bait. You do this. You just have to wait till the evening for these guys. But also in the evenings, using bait, you can summon the Cuttlefish, which gives you Cuttle Tendrils. Uh, and again, as, as I already said, I do recommend using bait. Uh, I use the Lanzo Fishing Spear for all four of these dudes. All right. So the next location we're going to be talking about is the lake, uh, Garatot Lake. And this is really the only lake in the Plains of Eidolon. So if you're needing lake fish, yep, this is where you're going. Now, you can fish anywhere on this lake that you want to, any of those, I mean, anywhere. There's no wrong answer. My preferred location is right here in this rock formation in the center because I don't want to be messed with when I'm fishing. I just want to jump in, fish, get the fish I'm needing, and get out and get done. So that's why I fish here in this location. And in case you're uh, wondering, in this particular location, during the day you can get mawfish as well as charcoal. Now mawfish gives mawfish bones, and charcoal gives you the charc electroplax. Now charcoals do spawn day and night. You do not need bait for them. Now at night also you can summon the norg fish which gives you norg brains with the bait again using bait to summon the norg 
Now, while I use the Lonzo fishing spear for mawfish and the charcoal, for the Norg fish, I use the Param fishing spear. All right. So the third location we're headed to is an ocean location. Now, there are two ocean locations on the plains of Eidolon. There's this one that's almost behind Cetus, almost looks attached to Mersa Bay here. And the other is over here on the other side of Hillside Ruins. You can fish either one of these that you choose. I'm headed over here to this location. This is my preferred spot to fish. My third and final spot for the last remaining fish. So in this location, the first fish we'll talk about during the day is the Treylock. Now, the Treylock provides Treylock eyes. For the Treylock, I recommend that you use the two-lock fishing spear. The, the Treylock has a very, very tough hide. And you're going to have to put two or three shots into him with any other fishing spear to get him down. Treylock, the two lock will usually do it in one. So I come over here to, by this giant shark carcass here. And I fish on these rocks right over here. And this is where I do all my ocean fishing. Now you can run along this beach here if you wish and fish on there. But it increases the odds of enemy encountering, encountering enemies. And quite honestly, I don't want to deal with them. As I said, for me, it's all about getting get out, get done. But in this location, uh, during the day, as I said, you can get the tray lock without bait, which will give you tray lock eyes. Just use the two lock fishing spear. Uh, day and night, you can get the gupala fish, which gives you gupala spleens. Uh, again, no bait needed for the tray lock or the gupala. Uh, and then you can also, dusk and at dawn, you can summon, or can, you can actually get the carquina as well as the sharak. Now, the carquina gives you carquina antennas, and the sharak gives you sharak teeth. Now, for the Sherak and the Karkina, I personally use the bait, which the bait for those two, both of them, is the Twilight Bait. You have such a small window at dusk and to end at dawn to catch as many of these as you can, that having the Twilight Bait means that any time, day or night, I throw out that Twilight Bait, I can summon those two fish. All right? So that's why I personally use the Twilight Bait to summon those two, so I don't have to wait around till dusk or till dawn to actually get them to spawn. Now, in the ocean, you, in this location, you can also get mercury fish. Now, mercury gives you mercury liver. And if you use the bait, you can fish these dudes up day and night. All right. As I said, again, use, you definitely use the bait for them. Finally, the 13th and final fish on this list is the glapid. Now, the glapid gives you sarum beetle shells. Out of all 13 fish, the glapid is the biggest pain in the butt to fish for. Uh, it has always been a pain in the butt to fish for. Uh, the bait, while it seems guaranteed on other fish, on the glapid, it seems like it's completely and totally 100% RNG based coin flip. Like you throw out bait, maybe you'll get some, maybe you won't. Many, many times I throw out glapid bait, even in a hot spot, and I don't get any, not a single glapid. Sometimes maybe I'll get one. Very rarely I'll get two or three. Again, this is where having those boosters is extremely helpful. Now, for all of these fish, I pretty much use the Lanzo Fishing Spear with the exception of the Tray Lock, which, I, as I already said, I use the uh, Two Lock Fishing Spear. So, hopefully that helps you guys out. Let me know down in the comment section your favorite fishing spot and how your fishing is going. And until next time, peace and grace.